what's up guys today we are doing this sam calder style thumbnail and then exporting it as a still image so that you can use it actually as a, a thumbnail so to start this off what i'm going to do is import my photo that i want to use and then resize it to make sure that it fills the screen and then the next thing we're going to do is go up here to the title bar and we're going to search for the basic title and you want the one that doesn't move it just stays in the middle um, it's going to make it a lot easier and now i'm going to go up here to the text section and i'm just going to put in my title tutorial and then you want to select the font and the font that sam uses is actually called surfing capital this one right here bring the size up and you can get this for free from thefont.com i'll leave the link to it down below you just need to download it and then install it into your uh, font book. So you just got to open it up. And if you double click on the TTF file, then that will install it into your font book. And once you've installed it into your font book, then you have to actually reopen Final Cut Pro for it to find it. Okay, so I'm just gonna center this up right here. And now we need to create the box that goes around the title. So to do that, I'm gonna go up here to the uh, titles and generators go to the generators here and we want the shapes drag that down over your text and then come up here to the parameters and you want to pick rectangle uncheck the fill and then for the outline color you want to click uh, white and then we're going to get rid of the drop shadow and then to make this bigger what we're going to do is go to the video properties and turn the scale up kind of make it however big you want it. A really annoying thing about these shapes is that when you change the scale of the X and Y to different percentages, the top line ends up thicker than the side lines. So what I did to just get around this was copy and pasted the shape and then just ex extended the X scale a tiny bit. The next step is to select your text and both of your shape layers and then right click and go to new compound clip. And what this will do is just like stick them all together so that we can add the draw mask effect, which is the next step. Go over here to the effects tab, go to masks. You wanna just drag the draw mask tool on top of your title layer. And what we're gonna do is just draw around the parts where the title overlays your subject. And let's get rid of this bottom bit first, so going to draw a little box around this bottom part and then you have to go up here to the effects and you just want to invert that mask once you've done it and you can get rid of the red lines by clicking on this little icon here and now you can see it's got rid of the bottom part of the box and once you know how to do that then you can just add a draw mask tool and cut out any little bits you like so I'm going to cut out the person next so I'm going to add another draw mask and start drawing around the person where the title kind of overlaps. Okay, so that's that mask done. And now we're going to click invert mask again. Cool. So there we go. There's the person cut out. And now to save it as an image so that you can upload it as a thumbnail, what you want to do is go up here to the share tab and go down to save current frame. I'm gonna click that, I'm gonna go settings, and I normally just export it as a JPEG because YouTube only takes kind of like small picture files. So JPEG's a good one, it always works when you upload it as a thumbnail. And just hit next, let's just save that to the desktop. Thumbnail, and now if I open this up. Cool, and there we go, there's the finished thumbnail. I think it looks pretty cool. And uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.